Today's box card is called Haunted House Box Card, and it looks like this. This box card is kind of hard to hold because this piece falls down and it's got this piece right here. It, it folds down a little and then it's got this piece right here that sits on the table. So when it's sitting on the table, it's not going to fall down. Um, I wish that there was a piece that would keep it from falling, up, falling down. But I mean, that's just the way they designed it. In the picture on uh, SVG Cuts, where this card is from, um, they did a lot of white inking on here to, uh, I don't know, highlight the edges. I have no idea why. Um, I thought it would make it look good. And uh, I mean, I actually like it. Um, uh, I did a lot. <laughs> and... Um, so this card is mostly just all black, which is the reason that she used uh, in, in SVG Cuts a lot of white to outline everything. The back of the card is a pattern from designbundles.net and as well as the button on here. And uh, um, I mean, there's not much more I can say about this card. It's, it's just a haunting card, I guess haunted Halloween box card. So I'm going to start making it right now. Okay, so as far as I know, these are the only tools that I'm going to need. I have already used these on all of the black paper, so I really don't need these. I use this to brush it on, and I use this to smooth it out. So I'm just going to take these away because I've already used them. So the last things that I need are my Zot for the button, the double stick tape for the envelope, the glue for the the glue, and this is my final tool. <laughs> okay, so I'm going over all of the pieces that I have, and I'm looking at this again. When I first started gluing the pieces together, I had put these on backwards, um, so I made sure that they're right this time. Um, there are some, uh, th this is the back side of this piece. So that's this. So, uh, yeah. So I'm gonna just start gluing them together. I'm gonna hold this piece up just for reference. Where am I gonna put it? <laughs> there you go. Okay, so I also have the Cricut Design Space up on my screen just in case I need to check that. Um, but, uh, I'm going to move uh, the things out of the way that I'm not going to use right this second. Okay, so here is the back. Um, I should probably have folded things. I thought I did that, but oh well. <laughs> so the back piece just has this on it right here like this. And it's got to be as centered as possible. I've got about this much glue left in here, but I, uh, it, instead of going to Barely Art Glue and to buy glue, I just went to Michael's and got some glue and they had the Elmer's uh, Tacky Glue for $4. So I've been spending quite a bit of money on this Barely Art Glue. And, uh, so when I run out, I'm going to switch over to the Elmer's. It seemed a lot cheaper. It's like $4, I think, for a uh, eight ounce bottle. I think that's what it was. I don't have a paper towel. <laughs> Let me go get Okay, so. It's on pretty straight and oops just for reference this is what the glue looks like it was only four dollars I bought two bottles just in case 
I was watching a video that was explaining uh, the different glues and they said that the four ounce bottle was like $10. And I was like, wow, I got a real big, a real bargain. bargain. <laughs> and I'm glad I bought two bottles. It's really thick, I've already used it. So the next piece goes on here like, yeah, see, it's gotta be very, it's got, you have to put it on the right way. Otherwise, and I've done that. I've, I've put glue on, on a piece and then went to put it down and realized that I put it on the wrong way. Not good, but it's fine. I, as long as I have more paper and I have the cricket running, <laughs> not running, but turned on, it's, it's okay because I can just print out a, another piece real quick. I've got the button here, but I'm not going to use it right now. Uh, I'm going to wait until everything's done to add that. But this piece goes on here, and this is backwards, isn't it? So I guess I'm going to have to <laughs> use the... Um, ink after all and see that's another thing that happens like I was just saying with this but uh, sometimes I'll put things on and then realize that it's it's not right see that's how that piece goes and it looks like I embossed that so let me just go ahead and emboss that I don't know why I embossed it I didn't emboss that. Why would I emboss this? Yeah, I'm not gonna emboss it. I don't know why I did that one. That's weird. So it goes on like this, just to make sh double check. So I'm just going to put it on the edges real. I'm gonna try and be real easy with it because I don't wanna get it, you know, I don't want to have this really sharp white lines. <laughs> That's fine. And I went on YouTube on my TV, on my Roku, and uh, wait a minute. Is that, yeah, that's right. I went on YouTube on my on my TV on the Roku and uh, to look for Halloween music, but on it to, that I could play and you know have it in the background, but. Honestly, I'm kind of afraid that it's going to give me a copyright strike on this video and then they'll mute the entire video. So I'd rather just not uh, have that happen. <laughs> so that goes there. And then we have this little piece that's gonna go right, uh, right below this window. And I had a video one of the very first videos on my other channel, which is Xanapus, um, a friend of mine passed away and and she loved Frank Sinatra. So I, I made a video uh, as like a tribute to her and put a, a song on that was Frank Sinatra. And uh, back then that was like in like the early, early days of YouTube, and I got a copyright strike on it, I think many years later, and they they removed the sound. They didn't remove the video. They didn't, you know, get rid of my video. They just removed the sound. So after that, I'm just afraid that, uh, I'm afraid that of putting anything on YouTube that's gonna give me a copyright strike, and then they'll remove the sound. So here's the next piece. And this is gonna attach to that piece. So um, this piece needs to come out. Oops. I'll make sure this is on right. 
I look at this piece. Yeah, it, it's on right because of the windows on that side. Okay, so um, that goes up here. And then all of these pieces are for the windows. just checking on uh, looking at the image I mean not the image the uh, the card that's fully assembled to make sure that I'm putting everything in the right place because it would be bad if I put them in the wrong place <laughs> okay that's done this piece actually goes on that other piece over there. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue these pieces together. I, I like to do some pre-cut, or not pre-cutting, obviously I do pre-cutting. I like to do some pre-gluing, but uh, I don't know if that's going to take away from uh, assembly. <laughs> and there's a child screaming outside my bedroom window. <laughs> so, I mean, that could probably be good for Halloween sounds. <laughs> Kids screaming bloody murder for no reason cause other than they're just a kid. And that's what kids do sometimes. <coughs> Can you hear? <laughs> I'm doing this in the morning. <laughs> so um, the neighbors have their yard sale going like they do every weekend. These go on the here with the, uh, and they're all the same size, so it doesn't matter. And they all go on the edges of these windows, and they're not exactly perfectly aligned because, you know, with a kind of Halloween y type of a thing, nothing is straight, especially coming from a gay person. And it's that towards the window, the ink side towards the window. Same on this side. Let's see, I'm kind of afraid to make, I wanna make sure it's not on that edge. That one will make straight, straight up. And that one seems to be embossed for some reason. I don't know why I embossed some of these pieces of paper and not all the others. Very strange. Okay, that's, <laughs> oh my God. Why do kids scream? I don't understand that. Okay, I'm going to put these together Now, this attaches to here. Now I've got my box. And normally, when I have a box card, there is a piece that goes on the inside. But this card has a piece on the outside <laughs> instead. So that's the way the box is going to look. It would. I think it would be better if there was something inside, but that other piece is just gonna get glued right on top of here. So here's that piece, oops. And I've already glued this piece on here and I've glued these two pieces on here. I did a little pre-gluing and this, this is just gonna go right here. And I also, heard a little scream. I also um, <laughs> did the folding. Oh my god, it's too early in the morning. Okay, so this is what's going to be glued onto the front 
and I have to make sure that when I glue it, it's exactly on the edge. So I'm just gonna hold it there. Well, I guess I don't have to do that because it's not gonna let me because I need to hold it with my fingers and I'm getting glue everywhere. Great. It's kind of hard to grab things when they're on this mat. <laughs> okay, so just hold it up against there. Place it down. Oops, it slides around. <laughs> and then that, that goes up like this. And then I have to just fold it over. Let me push that under there. Let me get some glue on that. Fold this over. that's pretty much it um, I was thinking of um, because this piece right here is not attached to the card I was thinking that maybe I should put a little thing that will attach it but it uh, it goes like this but I, I mean the the pattern they don't attach it when you set it down on a table. It, because of this piece right here, it automatically uh, sits straight up. But whoever receives this card, are they going to know that? You know, that's a good question. So that piece is just going to sit down like that in the envelope. And that's done. And I'm going to put my Zot on it. This one was a very quick one, I think. So where did I put the Zot on this one? I put it right here on the side. And be very careful because, um, <laughs> because I did that one time and the, the Zot ripped off the paper <laughs> I had to, I had to do a lot of uh, cutting of new pieces, so that's just going to go with the metal on the on the zot, and that's done. And now the envelope. Um, that one's already made, so let me do this one. So this is how it's going to be on here. So I just have to put the glue on this side. So that was lovely. I had my own neighborhood screaming sounds for free. No copyright strikes. <laughs> and then, um, let's see, I'm gonna put the tape on here. I It's pretty, pretty thick. Uh, so I'm gonna use the thickest tape that I have. It doesn't really matter. The wider the tape, I think the better, but uh, I mean, nobody wants really wide tape on their uh, envelope. Where's my scissors? And this, I think this is the perfect size of tape for envelopes but occasionally I have to use the very thin tape and that's it that is the video that I think was the fastest one yet and this just goes in here like this It's done so that was it that was very painful I hope and <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it and I will
catch you in the next one. Thank you for watching.